Heading out to another networking reception soon? Well, if you're in meetings and events, chances are you're going to one next week. We all are. So in this week's Two Minute Tip Tuesday, I wanted to go over a few networking tips to maximize your time at your next networking reception. Hey friends, it's Leanne and the Canadian Meetings and Events Expo, formerly known as IncentiveWorks, is coming up very, very quickly, as is the bevy of networking receptions that tend to accompany events like this. And folks, these events are a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun decor, fun drinks, fun food, uh, connecting with people we know. But networking receptions, remember, are also about connecting with people we don't know or have never met before. So I wanted to go over a few tips that potentially would increase your ROI when making new connections at a networking reception. So here we go. Tip number one, establish eye contact and extend your hand. And folks, what this means is you can't be on your phone. Your hands need to be free and clear so that you can shake someone's hand and your can't, eyes need to be looking up and looking for new opportunities to connect with people. So putting your phone away at networking receptions is key so that you can establish eye contact and create new connections. Tip number two, take business cards, but don't spray them. Only exchange business cards with someone once you've made a meaningful business connection with that person. In fact, I did a blog post about positive networking and you can find the link to that blog post in the description for this video. And it talks about only making that exchange once you've established that there is the potential for future dialogue. So take your cards, just don't spray them around. Tip number three, travel in pairs if you have opportunity. Now this does not mean that you are always talking to your partner. This means that the two of you have a plan to meet new people together and you're helping one, of, one another out in making those connections. This is not your safety net we're talking about. This is about being strategic in meeting people and helping one another remember details of those interactions so that when you get back to the office, you can make strategic notes and strategic follow up as well. Tip number four, be focused and personal. Listen for cues. Everything that that person says, whether it's a personal anecdote or something about their program, listen for cues where you can start to provide value. Be extremely personal with them. Be focused on their conversation. Listen attentively and ask really good questions. And tip number five, practice, practice, and practice. Networking is actually a skill and some people do it really naturally. Some people do not. I am a terrible networker. I am terrible. I, I can't even tell you how terrible I am, but I have to practice. I read questions in advance before showing up. I, I need to remind myself constantly to be attentive. Networking does not come easy to me and it might not come easy to you if you are an introvert as well. So practicing being open and being attentive and, and open to the opportunity more than anything else is it can take some time to, to get there. So listen, if you're in the industry and you still feel like networking receptions are creating some stress in your life, you are not alone. There's tons of us there alongside you. Just keep practicing. You'll find your rhythm and soon enough, you'll be an expert at networking as well. Do you have any networking strategies that you can share with the community, especially for those of us like myself who struggle at networking reception? I would love to hear from you. And if you see me next week, please come up, engage with me, extend your hand. I will do the same. I would love to meet you next week at the CM&E show in Toronto. Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you very soon. Bye for now.